so um, if I was going to do her head, I would definitely only use one of this low setting on the power dryer and probably take that end off of it so it was a real soft um, power dry. And then definitely you can put a cotton ball in each ear. Just remember to take them out so she doesn't hear it when you're doing the head. It, once she advances to that stage and close this. Don't ever blow your your dryer hose into the dog's mouth because you can blow up their lungs. I saw a gal do, I mean, the ones that, when you go to the doggy wash, those power dryers are so low pressure, you're probably not going to hurt your dog, but I mean, don't power dry into the dog's mouth because some of the dogs like to open their mouth and try to fight the power dryer and that's actually fear they aren't playing a game with you they're scared so it's a groomers don't like to deal with a dog that's doing that because it's a huge liability so if you're going to be grooming your dog going to the the $20 drive through doggy wash just Stop at the head if you can't get it to stand nice. <laughs> Cause you're, that's just, dog's ears are dirty. That's just uh, not good. Once you accidentally blow air into a dog's ear, you hurt the dog. It's not gonna let you really wanna be too excited about letting you power dry it then, so. Wow, yesterday we tried to power dry this dog and it took both of us. We ended it on a good note, but look how good she was today. Look how good she is. I couldn't even get her hardly to stand on the table. I've been working with this dog for quite a while, just telling her she's a good girl, not getting a haircut done. I even have it, I even have one week where I didn't even post any videos of her because it just, she had a major meltdown and we had to stop. And now you're just being a regular dog. Let's see how the rest of the groom goes. So, take my comb. And like I said, these guys got bathed yesterday. So, just gonna, yeah. Am I bothering you? probably trying to go too fast. She can tell I'm in a hurry. So she's, I'm making her nervous. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop for a second here. Keep everything positive. Yeah, because you're being good. I'm gonna make sure she knows that we're not playing. This dog is very playful. And her coat is pretty thick, so. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Got a little bit of. I'm gonna make sure when I'm holding on to her face to brush around her eyes that that doesn't turn into a fight. Since so we know that this dog gets upset kind of like needs a, a break every once in a while so I'm just gonna not really do anything for a few seconds. See how she she's probably gonna be okay for this. Good girl. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Good girl. Is that making a different noise?
offering a lot of support under her belly and by her hind legs. So this haircut probably isn't going to be perfect because I'm kind of changing the shape of her body. So if you were, if this wasn't my dog and it was your dog and you were coming back and something like that is visible to you, now you know why. And she's still being excellent. But I'm offering a lot of confidence right now to her because of how I'm holding her. I'm not, I'm not um, holding her hard with my hand or anything, grabbing her. I just have my hand, my arm under there. And Obviously, she's trusting me. We're not going to spin this dog around. <laughs> not when she's being this good. So, this video is more about That could have gone really wrong if, if we wouldn't let her decompress a little bit. And then she's going to go down. I'm not going to get very close to her. Yeah, this is a, yeah, good girl. When she starts to squat like that, I'm just going to give her a second to decompress. That means... She's afraid. So this this haircut or any haircut may not be perfect. Just what kind of day is your dog having? How good is your dog on the table? Maybe, maybe your dog just needs to go to the grooming shop and that's all it can handle that day because it's a new shop. It's good for you, but not good for the groomer. Well, you, you got, it went for a car ride. It's in a new shop. Maybe normally a good dog isn't going to be able to handle all of that. So, Pay your groomer the 30 bucks or whatever just for boarding that day. And bring her home, go next week. Just ask the groomer to tell, tell the dog it was good. You're such a good girl. So. I'm gonna hold her, see if she, I'm gonna brush this. And I'm not gonna worry about every little lick knot, because as I shorten hair, I'll probably get most of them out. If you start doing the lick knots, every time my son moves, she gets excited, so that's what that's what's happening right there. And yeah, good girl. Just make sure I'm not. get any of that stuff that I couldn't brush this hair forward on the hind leg 
try to get any of that stuff I could get when I was holding her, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'd like to, her to be somewhat finished by the time I get done, so I'm going to let some stuff go. That can be a perfect haircut, but even though your dog doesn't get a 100% fantastic haircut, your, your groomer definitely worked for her money if she's having to do a dog that hasn't been groomed very often. Yeah, I don't like these scissors. They aren't long enough, but they were, they came with my thinning shears, so. Brush this hair forward again. And if you like the shorter legs, I totally get it because a lot of crap comes in the house with, on their legs. So, just take your, I'm not gonna do it because some, it, whoever wants to get this puppy isn't going to want shaved legs, but um, you can just take your um, clippers and trim down them real quick. I You're such a good girl. Yeah. Good girl. So some dogs don't like to have their faces worked with or whatever. Whatever you do, don't ever get in this pokey jabby type playing thing with your dog. It makes it impossible to groom them. I, I, I see people popping their dog's noses for fun and somehow they think that's a, a nice way to play with them. No, it <laughs> makes them impossible to work with. So when you're using these, you're going to want to make sure any hair that's in, in your deal, your teeth of your thinning shears get um, taken out. Otherwise, you'll be taking bigger chunks of hair than you realize. I'm going to brush all this hair forward. I mean, to the side and hold the air down and... By doing that, I'll get this little wild, so she'll have more of a, a nice rounded little head. And I know a lot of people like to have their dog's eyelashes not trimmed, but boy, that can be, that can be a hard task if your dog is being a nut. I don't know how some groomers do it. Some of these groomers are so good at what they do. It's, it's just amazing. So now I'm going to take this little tiny bit right, ar right around the I try to make a little V or whatever then because people really like to be able to see those eyes and you know probably the dog likes to be able to see. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you're such a good girl. So we got a little bit of a little bit right in here. I'll take that off. I'm not gonna, you know, she doesn't wanna stand right then. This is all going so good. I'm not gonna start any fights with her. We did save a little bit of eyelash though. <laughs> good girl. And that's because you're a good girl. Then you can go play. Get dirty.
There we go. There we go. So you did really good. Not too long ago, we just had to stop and left you half groomed, didn't we? About a month ago. Now you're wagging your tail on the grooming table. Mm -hmm. Are you a good girl? That's good.